Hi, I'm Jay Archibald, developer at Lanyard, and I was reading uh, an article by Paul Lewis on HTML5 Rocks on how Canvas works on Retina devices. And it, it gave me some ideas that got me thinking, and I, I want to show you a demo. So I'm here in the Lanyard office. Everyone say hi. Hi. That's Lanyard. Uh, we're going to look first on, um, on my MacBook, which is the uh, non-Retina one. So this demo here, uh, as you see, it's got just a picture of a man on a bike, which I took at Goodwood. Uh, this is a canvas element, this is a, a 300 by 300 canvas element. I've zoomed it in using OSX's uh, zoom function just so it can, we can hope to pick out some of the details a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the sharpen button uh, at the bottom here and, uh, and you'll see when I press it, um, a kind of basic sharpen filter happens and the more I press it, uh, the more ridiculous the image gets. And that's just doing that by, by iterating over uh, every pixel uh, and doing a bit of a transformation on it. So now if we have a look at the, the retina screen. So the first thing you notice when, well, when you're looking at it in real life, it might not come across on the video, but the image is really, really sharp. It's like, you know, squeezing a lemon into your eye sharp. It's so much sharper than the, than, than the uh, non-retina MacBook. This is because the image that I'm writing onto it is actually much bigger. And when you create a 300 by 300 pixel canvas, uh, Safari 6 on a Retina Mac is in the background, it's going to create a 600 by 600 pixel one. And that's why you get lots of sharp details no matter what you're doing. So I'm going to, once again, I'm going to click the sharpen button and we're going to watch what happens here. So hopefully that, that comes out in the video. When I click the sharpen button there, the resolution of the canvas halves. And the reason is, so we, we do this by doing uh, get pixel data or get image data. And what that does is it gives me all of the pixels for the whole image. Now, it can't start returning to me a 600 by 600 a set of pixels because that would uh, be backwards and compatible because people are relying on uh, for every 300 pixels it's going to start a new line. So when I get those pixels and I modify them um, and then I put them back, it's, it's got less pixel data so it effectively halves the resolution. And this is going to create an issue where if you've got a canvas and you're editing parts of it, users are going to start noticing that some of your canvas is half the resolution versus some other parts. And if you wanted to do a, a, a sharpen effect, what you might do then is, okay, I'm going to create a, a canvas which is 600 by 600 on Retina devices and, and half the resolution. But then the problem is Safari 6 is going to create a, a 1200 by 1200 canvas in the background and you're going to start running into some memory problems. To get around this, the spec has created uh, some new methods along with uh, get image data and put image data. There's now get image data HD and put image data HD. And when you run that, it's going to return you whatever resolution the, the canvas is at. So in, in this case, when I ask for 300 by 300, it's going to return me 600 by 600. The problem is the implementation that's in WebKit, which is WebKit get image data, WebKit get uh, put image data, there's a bug in it. If I ask for 300 by 300, it's going to return me uh, just the first quadrant. If we have a look at the screen, uh, I can refresh the page and show that happening. So I'm going to use WebKit uh, get image data uh, and then put image data, but the HD versions. And when I click sharpen, um, as you, if you, you know, zoom out of it, you can see that this has only affected the top quadrant of the image. That's a bug in the specification, uh, well, no, it's a bug in the implementation, because the specification says uh, if I ask for 300 by 300, it should multiply that by whatever the scale factor uh, of the browser is. So although I ask for 300 by 300, it should return me um, the full canvas in whatever resolution the screen is, in this case, 600 by 600. So, yeah, interesting challenges with the, with the canvas thing. My preference would be to just um, leave it down to the developer. The developer creates the canvas at whatever size he needs, uh, he or she needs, and it would just scale down the, the same way the image element works.